Welcome to another frequently asked questions video uh, where I used to pick up one of the questions from my YouTube comments or any, any other social media platform and I try to answer them in a short video. Now in today's video is that how is the placement statistics in AI or CDS department in ISC. Now recently I have shared the placement statistics in the CSA department and since then uh, people are asking me how is the placement statistics in AI or CDS department and even people have asked me is there any discrimination happen uh, when the placement in CDS department particularly happens. Now first of all I will tell you that I have shared the statistics for CSA department because I have the data for that particular department but I don't have the data for CDS department and AI uh, and the students from the AI branch. But from my personal experience I can say I can say that the placement happens almost similarly in those two other departments also because these three departments are kind kind of related to computer science uh, branch and that's why whenever you know companies uh, used to visit the campus they used to choose uniformly from these three three departments now coming to the question that you know is there any discrimination happen uh, in the placement uh, like uh, is it happen like recruiters prefer students from AI and CSA department and not from the CDS department kind of things that is a complete mis uh, misconception this is not the true case. Uh, so what happened is that when placement uh, is being conducted by IISC then you know companies to visit the campus and they, they, they are given the whole set of students that is available uh, for a particular skill set. So suppose a company is coming to recruit the data scientist profile then all the machine learning students I mean all the students who is working in machine learning they are eligible to apply for that particular company. It's not necessarily only from CSA or AI or even CDS I mean people people from EC department also can apply people from electrical also can apply because in EC electrical also there are uh, some professors used to work in machine learning so that's why even students from those department also can apply for that particular company for the data scientist profile and then what happened is that companies also they are not biased towards a particular department I mean they are open to everyone I mean they are they're happy to you know explore different uh, students from different departments so what they do is they conduct interviews first of all they will shortlist uh, based on the CV that is there so how, how, how much good work you have done how much is good your project is and how much CGP you have based on that maybe they, they will shortlist and then you know they you have to go through the interview and if you are really good on your skill set on the particular topics of machine learning then obviously you will be getting selected by that particular company so there is no as such discrimination or biased um, bias is there among the recruiters or among the you know even in the placement uh, coordinators so all the all the students from all the departments are are you know treated equally so if you have the skill set that is required by the particular company irrespective of any department you are from you will be getting the opportunity to appear for the interview and if you if you can showcase your skill set in front of the interview panel you will be getting selected for for, for the job i'm i just want to repeat again that there is no such discrimination that is there in uh, any other departments and placement statistics is almost similar in these three departments csa ai and cds because they are uh, everyone is related to computer science um, branch so that's why there is nothing much difference in the placement statistics in these three departments so that's it about the today's video this is another short video regarding your questions so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or you can ask me in the linkedin or uh, in the instagram so i i, I may make another video regarding your uh, comment or questions also so please like this video and share this video with many other people and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications instantly that's it about today's video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye